Each year, Washington wildfires threaten homes and infrastructure, sending smoke into our skies and burning thousands of acres of forest land. Now, new research reveals how preventative action can limit destruction. It would also free up first responders to protect people and property. King 5's Erica Zuko traveled into the Schneider Springs burn scar for an exclusive look at why. We travel to the area with forest managers to see the difference up close between those areas that had been treated with thinning and prescribed burning and areas that had either just been thinned or not treated at all. In a healthy forest, fire can be as natural as the water trees need to grow. But when winds fuel fires like they did here last year, high fuel areas are at high risk. The Schneider Springs megafire burned more than 100,000 acres in 2021. It not only impacted Forest Service land, but DNR and private property very quickly. But as we learned in the woods near Yakima, not all land burned the same. That flat plateau is called Meek's Table. Jason Emhoff right worked the fire and knows this area well. That's going up Rattlesnake Creek and out into the wilderness. In Meek's Table, you can see the black and red trees and as it comes closer towards us you can see where it quits being black and red and just a sea of green. He says that sea of green includes 3,000 acres of where the U.S. Forest Service did prescribed burning on trees that had already been thinned. Comparing the adjacent sections of land reveals the impact. The 3,000 acres forest managers thinned and burned remained green and healthy. The untreated forest, some thinned, some untouched, came out scorched. We came in and harvested trees. It reduces fire danger. It also will help the remaining trees grow. DNR says some of its land that had been thinned but not pre-burned fared a little better, but not much. When we can do the thinning, which reduces the number of trees, which makes the forest more resistant to drought and, and better adapted to, to the hotter and drier summers we're seeing with climate change, it's really important. And then if we can do the prescribed fire and treat those fuels, that's the best case scenario. Evidence that certain kinds of prevention can save forests and protect resources. Prescribed burning is not always an option. The weather has to be right, and a lot of the personnel that would be used for prescribed burns are often working on wildfires at the time they need to be available. Reporting in the newsroom, Erica Zuko, King 5 News.